Sacramento Kings fans may not fully understand it yet, but having Domantas Sabonis in your team is super fun. The players love sharing the court with him, as he makes everyone around better. How? Son of a legend Arvidas Sabonis, the big man from Lithuania inherited unreal passing abilities and much more. But good genes are not enough to become a two-time NBA All-Star. So in this video, we will go through Domas' NBA career examining how a spot-up shooter in OKC transformed into a playmaking big and an All-Star in Indiana. It's no good, and Sabonis the rebound. And he's dribbling into traffic. Oh yes, oh yes. You can see it coming. Sabonis was drafted 11th overall in 2016 and spent the first year playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder. It was the beginning of a new era. They were recovering from the departure of Kevin Durant. Sabonis was inserted in a starting lineup at the power forward position alongside Steven Adams, another non-shooting big. The show was run by Russell Westbrook, so Oklahoma needed to have shooters around to space the floor for his explosive drives. This way, Domas was forced to play the game like he never did before, standing around the three-point line, rarely touching the ball and shooting from outside. Imagine the lack of shooters in the OKC team that season if Sabonis was used to set back screens on Spain pick and rolls, something only pure shooters do nowadays. In the 2016-2017 season, Lithuanian's play type looks something like this. 50% spot-up shooting, 30% pick and pops and 20% post-ups. Despite countless hours in the gym improving the jump shot, Domas couldn't really find the stability. As a result, he finished the season averaging only 16 minutes and 6 points while shooting 32% from deep on 2 tries per game. Rookie lost his starting spot after the trade deadline, where OKC went and got veteran Taj Gibson who was more suited to OKC's style of play at the moment. Long regular season allowed Sabonis some opportunities to show off his better part. Elite moving the ball side to side and pick and roll roller skills with great vision off the court. He was already a mature pick and roll player, but Westbrook's attack first play style didn't let Domas demonstrate that on the rare pick and roll opportunities. There was also a glimpse of his excellent footwork under the rim as well as a soft touch on the left handed hook shots. The only thing visibly missing was strength which was normal for that age but prevented Sabonis from getting closer to the rim easily. At the same time, the NBA's worst hidden secret was Paul George wanting to get out of Indiana. Not wanting to remain without anything in return, Indiana traded him to OKC for Oladipo and Sabonis. This was the opportunity Domas needed to shine. He saw his playing time immediately jump from 16 to 24 minutes, but more importantly, he was finally allowed to play his game. First, he changed positions on the court from power forward to center. Obviously, that meant having to share minutes with Miles Turner. But he was no longer shooting threes. Instead, he finally got to be the pick and roll big, setting screens and rolling quickly to the rim, something where he is excellent at. Sabonis is extremely good at setting touch and go picks, where he turns around super fast and rolls to the rim before the help defense arrives. Changing positions meant Domas was no longer waiting for a kickout pass outside. He was responsible for creating the plays. I mean, he's right there with. That's why you run the pick and roll with Sabonis because he'll make the right decision. And for him, it seemed to be easier than everyone expected. Very quickly, the Pacers realized how great Sabonis is at reading the opponent's moves on pick and roll defense, and his ability to screen, rescreen, and rescreen again. Defending one pick in the NBA is hard. Imagine if there are two or three in a row. Pacers guards found chemistry with Domas and this pass into hand of action became a staple of their offense whenever the big man was on the court. Little pick and roll. Oh! He caught a body and it was Embiid at the other end. Look at this beautiful sequence of basketball with Corey Joseph, where the two simply spin the Knicks players' heads around until Sabonis scores. The NBA world was shocked by how smooth Indiana played with Sabonis on court. Especially when he received the ball after the pick, it seemed like his passes were automatic and he knew exactly where the open teammates were without even looking at them. Justin Holiday in the corner for three. Hello. Hello. What a beautiful pass there. After some games in the first season with Indiana, coach Nate McMillan even designed a backdoor play where Sabonis was given the task to make this bounce pass. His passing skills don't surprise anyone in Lithuania as his father is arguably one of the best passing big men of all time. 
Take a look at these deliveries and you will quickly understand why I'm not crazy by making this statement. Preparing the body to NBA levels of physicality was one of the main focus points of Domus. Combined with elite footwork, it allowed Domus to develop into a dangerous player under the rim. Everyone in every NBA team knows that he will use the left hand 99% of the time, but he is still crafty enough to get the shot off with ease. Domantas kept delivering one great performance after the other and his importance to the team grew with every game in the first two years. His stats were going up, but the minutes not, and he was still coming from the bench. Soon all you could hear coming from Indiana was the million dollar question for the franchise, which center they should build around, Miles Turner or Sabonis. Multiple trade rumors were left behind, as Indiana's front office and coaching staff decided that this duo can coexist together. Lithuanian finally entered the first five and started every game of the 2019-2020 season. A huge 10-minute increase in playing time translated into career highs in every statistical column and the first all-star nod in Sabonis' young career. He came back to occupying the power forward position, the position he wasn't so successful at in Oklahoma. But we all know that positions don't mean that much in basketball these days. His role unchanged and even grew. He flourished into the main catalyst of the Pacers offense, while Miles Turner became the floor spacing big. Sabonis continued to thrive in his pattern handoff into pick and roll action. He kept opening spaces in the midrange for the guards with great screens and gave them an additional option by rolling hard. With bigger playing time came bigger confidence and bigger responsibilities too. They give it to Sabonis. He's going to drive to the basket. Score and a foul! Demontis Sabonis! Everything he did in the first two years with Indiana was now done again and again with more efficiency. On post-ups, Domas learned new ways to get to his strong left hand. Hook started going in more often. Teammates starting cutting back door more often, knowing Sabonis will find them. He also starting pushing the ball in the transition repeatedly, since he averaged 8 to 9 defensive rebounds per game. It resulted in a lot of extra easy baskets. Not for Damas, but for everyone around. The 2019 2020 season was the first year we finally saw the full potential and the skill set of the Lithuanian, all the things that were hidden in Oklahoma and not fully unleashed in Indiana at first. The coaching staff found additional ways of creating offense through him while putting to use two of his best skills, screen setting and passing. He formed an inspiring bond with the shooters, especially with Doug McDermott. Pinned down into a handoff plus a little screen became a deadly weapon and the stats speak for themselves. In McDermott's 10-year career, those two years with Sabonis as a starter, he had the highest points per game average as well as the highest field goal percentage. McDermott with a backdoor cut. To recap, hours and hours of work refining his skills in the gym made Domantas Sabonis one of the most fun players to play with in the NBA. From a passive spectator in Oklahoma to a true offensive machine in Indiana. This has been the evolution of the all-star big man. His next goal is a difficult one. Can he reach the playoffs with Sacramento? Something that hasn't been done for the last 16 years. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video.